It's Wes, welcome to this video. Today we're shooting on the Canon EOS R with the RF 28 to 70 lens. My son Jonathan is over here. He's gonna be here for the portrait session that we're about to do. I'm gonna talk about some of the things you wanna keep in mind when using the Canon RF 28 to 70 for portraits. You're a beautiful person and a good person. And if no one else has told you that today, let me be the first one to tell you that. Now I know in the past, I've said this is an events lens. I got a lot of flack for that on that, that video. And I really do think this is the prime lens you wanna pick up for your RF system for events. But as a portrait lens, yes, it works. Let's put it through its paces. We're breaking it down and building you up. Let's go. All right, so Jonathan's here on the steps and we're just gonna have him go through a variety of poses. The first thing you wanna keep in mind when using this lens, Jonathan, go ahead and take your mask off, is it's heavy and it's heavy, you wanna make sure you're supporting the barrel firmly with the hand. And um, so we're gonna just compose some basic shots. I'm here at 70 mil, and he's getting a reflection off his glasses. So if you put your chin down, Jonathan, a little bit, and then look up at me, look up at the camera, yep, like that. Now you'll notice I rotated it right away to get to the vertical orientation. That's another thing you wanna keep in mind is yes, this lens is heavy, and it's very awkward to carry it like this and shoot like this, just support it, make sure you get those vertical shots for your portraits. People are linear beings up and down. You wanna shoot vertically. This lens will challenge you. It's much easier, much more stable to shoot like this, but put it into that vertical orientation. All right, Jonathan, have a seat right here on the first step or the second step. And I'm gonna get down low and Jonathan, you're gonna look at me. That looks good. Now grab the basketball from behind you and just kinda uh, spin it in your hands. Yep, three, two, one, three, two, one, three, two, one. Snapping those off, nice. All right, now hold the ball, good. Now, another thing to keep in mind is this is an F2 lens, so it's super bright, it's very fast, but I have it at F4. And the reason for that is when shooting portraits, you don't wanna get one eye in focus and the other one out of focus. So we're gonna keep this at an F4 to start with. I might pixel pinch and look in and make sure I'm happy with uh, the results. And we might go down to F2 for some compositions, but right now we're just starting at F4 as a starting point. All right, I'm gonna get in close. Now we can see Jonathan's got the ball in his hands. Jonathan, look up. Yep, and let's try one without the glasses. We're getting a little reflection just some beside you or be careful with those. All right, and then uh, yeah, looking up. So I can see the ball in the lower quarter of the frame and looks good and then, yep. Three, two, one, good. Uh, now, the thing about this is it's a 28 mil, it's not a 24, so I just cut his foot off. I was used to a little wider frame, so I'm gonna back up and make sure that you're aware of your uh, dimensions. So 28 is not as wide as 24, so keep that in mind. A lot of people who are using this lens might be familiar with a 24 to 70. Um, and for portraits or events. So just keep in mind, it's not as wide as you might think. All right, so why the Canon RF 28 to 70? Let's break it down with some general information about this lens. One, it's an L series lens from Canon. So it's the top of the line from Canon. Two, it's weather sealed. So you can take it out if we were in a snowy area, you could do portraits outside with snow and getting water and moisture all over it and you don't have to worry. We're in California, it's like 70 degrees. <laughs> Weather sealing is not being tested uh, right now. It's also got great image quality, that RF system. It's super sharp. This lens has amazing autofocus, so be assured that if you're using this, you're gonna have the fastest response time on your autofocus when you pair it with one of the Canon R cameras. You'll be delighted. And last thing is, it's the general purpose focal range that really makes this a, a value. Yeah, it is $2,900, and that's a lot of money to spend on a lens but it takes care of your lower end, almost a wide angle. It takes care of your uh, almost a, a, a low end zoom and those portrait ranges. So it's really um, valuable because you can use it in so many circumstances. All right, we're doing some portraits here on the bench with John that's got some reading material. I'm gonna start vertical. All right, uh, open the book up like you're reading it, look into it, study it. Yep, right there, good. Um, hold the book up a little higher so I can see the back. Yep, like that. Three, two, one. Now here's the thing, this is a zoom lens, so I was using my feet because I'm used to shooting with prime lenses. 
So I can be here at 28 or zoom in with the, uh, that's a great shot. I love how the lens gets this just slightly out of focus and you see Jonathan so busy learning. Uh, <laughs> now pull down your glasses and look over them at me. Yeah, like that, yeah, like that. Professor Torres in the house. All right, nice, nice. So when you have your subject there, because you have a 28 to 70, don't be afraid if you have a good composition. Uh, Jonathan, let's try, um, sit with your back against this and your feet up on the bench. So you're gonna be profiled to me, like that. Put your foot uh, back all the way up against, like, yep, scoot, and then put your foot out. Oh, you're just chilling, okay. All right, so don't be afraid to fire off a shot as wide as possible and then zoom in a little more and then zoom in all the way more. And we have three different compositions without moving our feet within a second. And that's the power of this lens. Now, uh, Jonathan looks, take a look at me. Uh, let's go without the glasses. We're getting a large, got a lot of light coming there. Okay, take a look at me. Three, two, one, great. Three, two, one, great. Three, two, one, great. And now we're gonna go horizontal. Uh, three, two, one. Good, good. It's funny, I even wanna uh, just back my body up even though I have the zoom built in. All right, so that's good. So make sure you use the power of the zoom, uh, the 28 to 70 range to mix it up. You're in one spot, you have a good uh, composition. Just fire off all those options. You, you have six, <laughs> wide open, close, closer up, and then horizontal and vertical. You have six options at any composition. All right, uh, that's good. John, I like the light in your eyes right there. And I want you to look at Pablo. Hey, Buenos Dias imagery is filming right now. So we're gonna look at Pablo right there. Good, good. And I like right there, we got a little bit of sky behind you. Uh, get that contrast. Actually, that's good, I, I like that too. And good, all right. That's mental. Why don't you stand up on the bench? So just another portrait tip is um, kind of here and then just power pose, kind of like spread spread uh, your legs. So you're like a superhero stance. Three, two, one, good, good. Another thing to remember is, you know, use all those angles, wide angles, low to angles. And then um, I'm even gonna come up here and shoot down and look back at me and I like that one so far. That's one of my favorites. Um, so remember to use those low angles, high angles, and uh, let's have you use this with your superhero pose. How would a superhero of knowledge use that book? How would they carry it? Yeah, yeah, I like that. Right on. Oh, I like the buildings up behind you. Yep, it's good stuff. Let's go in. Hey buddy, Sorry. wants to get into wants to get into the shot. Sorry. <laughs> All right, now hold the book straight out at me like this. Now I'm gonna focus on the cover. Now one thing to remember, you're using the Canon EOS R or the RF system. All you have to do is enable the touch screen as a trigger, so that I can line up the shot like this, and I touch the book because I want the book to be in focus. It's tracking his eye, but if I touch the book, it'll fire off the shot right there. Um, hold it a little bit like this way so it's further, uh, come about here. So, and then you're gonna look right at me and then we're touching the book. And then I could just go out a little wider, use my own advice and get that. And then same as reverse, now it's tracking the book because I've been tapping on that and it's like, using AI saying that's the focus point. So I'm gonna tap on the subject's eye and we're gonna get that. That's good. Now bring it in front of you, like two hands, like, and shove it out towards me. And I actually need to flip that down. Making full use, raise it up just a little bit. And then uh, drop it at your side. And let me see that shirt that you're proud of. Hands on hips. Now we're getting a little bit of a hero because I'm low, kind of a hero stance. Yeah, I like that. Now look off at the top of the corner of that building. Yeah, these are good. I like these, Jonathan. 
And then nose slightly down, like right here, look at me. And look at me right here. All right, it's good. Uh, let's see, look right here. And then let me. Ooh, just realized this is not adjusted for my eyes inside. All right, sun underneath Jonathan's chin. It's kind of cool. Look, kind of separate the trees from around his head. Jonathan, take a step forward a little bit. Okay, that's good. We're gonna put you right between those trees. Let's see if Cannon can, oh, hold on. Three, two, one. Uh, that's nice. Just some, ooh. Hmm. So I like what I'm getting at the, the shadow coming towards me. Jonathan's body's blocking the sun. He's a silhouette. Um, right now it'd be perfect if I had off camera flash, I'd light up and get those details in. Uh, but that's, yeah, that's good. And then uh, this is a very fast lens, so we're gonna test the con high-speed continuous shooting. Uh, Jonathan is gonna jump in the air or run at me. I'm gonna have it one over 500 and then put in servo and then single drive mode, high-speed continuous. Okay, Jonathan, you're gonna come down, you're gonna leave your sticks there. Actually, take the ball, why don't you just dribble at me? So we're just using the lines of the sidewalk to kind of provide some leading lines. He's gonna dribble at me and I'm just gonna have it high speed continuous. Hold on a second, John then. Uh, all right, I got the eye autofocus locked on. It's on servo and he's gonna come at me. Ready, three, two, one, go. Great, thanks. All right, cool. So those are some portrait ideas with the Canon 28 to 70. Hopefully this was helpful. Um, I just wanted to show you some of the things you want to be aware of, some of the things to keep in mind that this lens offers with the Canon EOS R. And um, if it was helpful, give it a like, leave me a comment, let me know a question you have about the 28 to 70. Um, I will possibly do another uh, video on it. So I would love to know your questions or comments. And uh, subscribe if you're not subscribed. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you. Stay safe out there. See you in the next video.